hear this noise and you wonder what is going on. Well, ask me exactly what is going on. This machine is called the High Performance Liquid Chromatography Short Form HPLC. And what does it do? <clears throat> it separates particles. When you inject something into the system, it separates it. So this is how it works. You make up your samples and you put it inside all these little all the sample vials. Right now we're analyzing uh, the contents of aspartame and saccharin in soft drinks and all the beverages. So you make up your samples and you put it inside this valve. And then you make up the standard and the method on the computer. And you hit run. And this auto sample, what you heard is the auto sample. It picks up the sample, injects it in here. Once it injects it, the pump, which is this here, controls the methanol and the buffer that we have. And what this does, the pump regulates that these solvents flush through the samples that you injected through the column. And as you can see, this is the column compactment. We already have a temperature set. And once you open the column compactment, you see the column. And this right here, this little thing, this tube little thing here, that is the column. And what it does, it actually separates what we have in there. It separates the particles according to their polarity, what is polar, what is not polar. And what we have here, this is a mobile phase, and this is a stationary phase. The stationary phase does not move. The mobile phase is what's moving. The stationary phase, separates everything and once it separates everything it goes right through the detector and when we get to the detector we have a certain wavelength set and at that certain wavelength that's the only time that our samples can be detected and once it goes through the wavelength we get a detection and once we get a detection we get a nice little plug over here on the computer and from the plug we can determine the concentration of what we have and as you can see we have a nice little plot here for aspartame or for saccharin and this shows that we have Saccharin was detected in one of the samples that we analyzed. Now you ask yourself, what is the purpose of this thing? Well, several of these soft drinks have several things. Caffeines, sweetened loss, caffeines, artificial sweeteners, and other particles. And some of these particles are regulated by the FDA. And we want to know how much of, how much of these are analyzed in these particles. And you look at things like sweet and low, equal, uh, mouthwash, Listerine, Pro Health, Crest, and Scope. And you wonder, what are in these things? And the thing is, you want to wonder how much saccharin or aspartame is actually in these things. And this machine shows us everything. How does it work? We make up standards based on the standards that we have. From the standards, we have a calibration curve. And from the calibration curve, when we get the linear equation, we can use that to calculate the amount or the concentration of equal or saccharin on the, on the sample that we just analyzed. You ask yourself, what is the purpose of this thing? Why analyze it? Well, when you analyze it, you find out more about what you're doing. You find out more about what you have in there. And as you can see, this is a project that we already finished doing. And we analyzed everything. And we found out that equal and sweet and low, they have about 2.8% of aspartame. And doing that gave you so much experience about how, to, how the machine works, how to fix the HPLC, how to manipulate everything, and how to get a good resolution of your peak. And the whole experiment was a very a great success. I found several things that I didn't know. I remember when I first took chemistry, you know, doc, uh, one of the teachers, Dr. Haas, was teaching me how to make a buffer, you know, talking about it in class. All I wanted to do was just get the grades and just move on. But when I did this experiment, I found out how to make a buffer. That's when I can actually say I learned more things doing this experiment than I stayed in the class concentrating or trying to pass the exams. What you do in the exams, when you go out in the real world, they're not going to ask you, please write how you make a buffer. They're going to ask you, go and make a buffer. And this experiment has given me a hands-on experience on how to make a buffer, how to operate the HPLC, how to get a good resolution of the peak, how to analyze it, how to use Excel to get the results that I need, and how to present, make a presentation of the results and everything that I've achieved. And I will say, doing this has prepared me for a great life experience, and all I can say is, world, watch out, here I come.